This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Reverse the gears. These gears already spin one direction when you press the spacebar. Now you'll want them to spin the other direction when the spacebar isn't pressed. Do this. Make the gears spin the opposite way when the spacebar is not being pressed. Okay, let me hit the space. Okay, so if I hold it down, got it, they're all currently spinning. Ah, interesting. One tricky component, and we saw these gears earlier in an earlier lesson. This gear is turning clockwise, this guy's turning clockwise, but this one is counterclockwise, and I'm holding down the space bar. All right, so when the make it opposite way when the space bar is not being pressed. Okay, let's take a look at our code. So here we set up our gears. The draw loop runs 30 times a second. We're blanking out the background to cover up the old stuff, right? Because if we don't, when we hit space, it's smooshed. So we have to make sure to blank out the background to blank out everything on the screen each time because it gives us the illusion of movement. Then if, and this is a conditional with a Boolean expression, so if this key down, if this space bar is down, then what happens? Well, we run the code inside, right? And we know the counter pattern at this point. The blue gear has dot rotation has a new value. We're saying it's equal to the blue gear's old value. So when we start, the rotation value would be zero minus one. So now it's negative one. The blue gear's rotation value is negative one. Green gear, old value plus one. So that would be one. And then we hit the bottom. We draw those. We white out the background. If I'm still holding space, we subtract again. So negative one minus one is now two, negative two. So now the rotation is negative two, so on and so forth. Now what it's saying is that's great. They're spinning with space. But when I let go, I want them moving the other way. So something you might be tempted to do, I'm going to copy and I'm going to click down here and paste this, okay? And then I'm going to just change up these signs, right? Because the opposite direction, well, I would need to do the opposite math on these guys. So I'm just flipping the signs. Everything that was negative is positive, yada, yada, yada. And here's my if statement. Now let me hit run, and they're moving automatically. Cool, right? And they're moving the opposite way. But let me hit space. Now they're not moving at all, okay? And why aren't they moving at all? Well, because up here, I tell the computer, subtract one plus one plus one. But down here, right, no matter what, even if I'm not holding space, plus one, minus one, minus one. So even if no button's being held, they will move in the reverse. But if I am holding down the button, they stop moving because I'm counteracting this plus one, minus one, plus minus one, plus one. It balances them out. Now, you might be tempted to be like, okay, I'm going to increase this number, and that will do it. But that's not what we're looking for. So if I hit control, we have this new thing called an if else. I'm going to go ahead, though, and hit plus, and it will give me an else statement here. What this should do, and we can test it on one of them first, is what will happen with else is if the space key's down, the computer responds true, right? It's a conditional with a Boolean uh, response. So we're saying key down space. We're asking the computer, hey, computer, is this space key down? And if the computer says true, yes, then we run the code inside of this chunk of the blue mouth thing inside the if statement. This line runs, this line runs, this line runs. If it's false, no, we're not holding the space key down. That's fine. That's completely okay. It just skips over this chunk of code and would keep running the stuff beneath it. Well, now we have an else. So if this is false, the computer says, no, no, they're not holding it down this space. We have an else. It's like an otherwise. So, hey, is this true? Is the space key down? Nope, nope, it's not. Okay, well, then otherwise run this. So no matter what, either this chunk of code runs because this is true, or if this is false, the else statement will always run no matter what. So let me test it out just with one thing in there. And so right now the space key isn't down, but I'm going to hold it down. Okay? So I'm holding it down right now. The blue key is going to keep turning the blue gear because the else, this is true now. And I'll show you what I mean with all of them. Boom. All of them are in the else. So they're all spinning because this is false. So, hey, computer, is the space key down? The computer says false, not true. Okay, else or otherwise, this code can't run because this is false. But this code in the else has to run and it spins them in the other direction. Now, the second I hit and hold space, they change direction and they're doing this. I'm holding down the space key right now. They're changing direction because if space key down, right? If this key is down, the computer says true, that's down. And so now we minus plus plus the opposite of this and it cannot run the else because this is true. It runs this code and then it's done. Let go. Boom.
there's a lot of stuff we can do being able to uh, use if else statements. Awesome. Onward.